You know what I don't understand? Why is it that only public restrooms seem to be able to be graced with the presence of those Dyson hand dryers? Dyson is a company that, in my opinion, gets way overhyped. Like, I've, in all honesty, the hand dryer is the only thing I've ever tried. You know, like, the curling iron, the blow dryer, the vacuum cleaner, etc., etc. They're, like, um, super expensive, and everybody claims they're the top tier, whatever, whatever. But what I want and need is that hand dryer. It's amazing. And it's like, you know, when you put your hands in, it's like a intense wind. Somehow my hands feel cleaner when I dry them in a Dyson. I want one of those. And it's only, I only ever see them in public restrooms. Like it's not something that people have mainstream, but <laughs> I want one. Like I see people going on and on about having an ice maker, like a, one of those special ice makers that makes the ice like you get at fast food chains for sodas, the little cube chip ice. Um, and I'm like, okay, I can see that being fun for the first day or so. And then the novelty of that, for me I, at least, I think would wear off pretty quickly. But not having to have towels to dry your hand and wash them and maintain them and replace them would be amazing. Also, I would have one in the kitchen too. How perfect would that be? Because you wash your hands a lot more in the kitchen and in the bathroom, obviously. Those are like high hand washing locations. I want them to be as powerful though as the ones in like, for example, the Costco bathrooms always have them. I want them to be as powerful as those. I don't want like a weaker, you know, mainstream version. I want, <laughs> you're like, what did I just click into? A soliloquy on hand drying, but I'm telling you, water residue left be la Water residue left on your hands uh, after, after washing your hands, especially trapped up like under rings and stuff, you can end up irritating the skin on your hands and drying them out. I'm surprised Dyson doesn't have, does Dyson have a lawnmower? That seems like something they would come out with. Do people mow their lawn? That's one thing I don't hear people talking about is mowing their lawns. Comment below, do you mow your own lawn or do you pay someone to do it for you? That was my, one of my chores when I was a teenager, mowing the lawn. and. I always found it kind of enjoyable. Yeah, I remember when the riding lawnmowers sort of came out and became popular. That was like the lux life. I, I don't see people mowing their lawns. I see people with lawn service, but I'm never out and about, I guess, during peak lawn mowing hours. So I've been using this Q10 serum now for what, a year now, it feels like? and. I think it's having an effect. Maybe it's all in my head, but it definitely makes my skin feel softer. I'm gonna do a few pumps of this bad boy too. Both of these absorb really quickly, so it's easy to put sunscreen on over them once they have dried. So I learned yesterday that Olaplex is going to be sued for allegedly causing hair loss. So I'm going to film a video on it today, which at this point should be up already. My opinion is, first of all, I don't think it's ever easy to pinpoint that a given product causes hair loss for someone. Um, you know, there's so many different types of hair loss and things going on that, um, you know, you can, if you're a hair care product, you can easily be guilty by association. In fact, that is one, like, business venture I would never touch. I have no interest in having a skincare line. People ask me that all the time. Not interested in that. But I 100% zero, never, ever, ever would have an interest in having a hair care line. Because I feel like if you become successful in hair care, having a hair care line, eventually there's a good chance someone's going to sue you for hair loss. And it's just a sh like, how, how are they ever going to prove that? Um, but with Olaplex, you see, I think legitimately there are so many products that Olaplex has. And I do think that there's a potential there to overuse or use too much and leave the hair frizzy or prone to breakage. That, that I could see happening. Um, it's not the product per se, but just maybe overuse of it. Maybe some more education would, would go a long way. Changing the packaging to minimize user error, I think can, could possibly make a difference. I'm just guessing though. I'm just guessing. 
All right, what sunscreen am I gonna come on in with today? I'm gonna do Hada Labo UV White Gel. In the US, people like to sue. That's, you know, they like to sue and I find it frustrating. Feels like it's gonna be a little chilly today, go figure. Um, this time of year, it's like the weather is really up and down and up and down and up and down. So I caved and got another thing of Mrs. Myers. I just, uh, I got the lemon verbena this time. What was it I had before? Some kind of pumpkin spice. That stuff was good. I was kind of sad to finish that off and you know, it was limited edition. I don't understand how countertops and bathrooms get so dusty and speckled <laughs> random things, but. My FabFit Fun Box should be coming soon, and I wanted to update you guys. I got this little, it's called a Dutch oven. They call it a Dutch oven. Uh, like three or four boxes ago, and I use this thing all the time. It's really good. I also use this Le Creuset Dutch oven a lot too. I've had this for like four years now. Isn't it cute, the heart shape? They sell these on Amazon, um, and I love it because the little point of the heart is easy to pour out. Coffee time. I haven't used this mug in a while, but I'm going to sip on my coffee and I'm gonna start doing my Instagram Q&A that I talked about on the vlog last weekend. So I'm back at the Botanic Gardens. The culinary garden looks much different this time. They got some, looks like upside down coral statues. Look at all of the lettuces over there, lettuce eye. Beautiful cabbage, spinach, horseradish, so unlike the last time I was here, it's a gorgeous day and I am hoping it does not rain. If you remember last time I was here, I got rained on. I had to seek shelter, but today is supposed to be a nice day. Sugar cane. It's a nice little seating area there. Artichokes. And Brussels sprouts. Last time I was here, this was full. The grapes, they were all, they were all blooming, fruiting. <laughs> and now it looks like they're all trimmed back. Feels like I was just here and it's like totally different. We have some kale here. Have a little coffee shop. You can get lattes and things. These are new. Eagle nest. Here's another one. <sighs> Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Need. Syntax, it's called. Banana plants, apparently are herbs. Did not know that. Largest growing member of the herb family. 
Oh, this is new. This cactus got frostbite and it is uh, not looking so joyful. There's a little baby one. Yeah, be careful with cactus because you can easily get cactus spines embedded in your skin and they're often colonized with microbes and fungi. So you can get a little infection and you also can get a foreign body reaction. Um, not pleasant. These are cute. The Nature Connects made with Lego bricks um, this weekend, so we're gonna go check that out now. Bald eagle made of Legos. This one does work. Tells you how many arms it took. 184 hours it took to build it. How cute is this one? It has the little squirrel and the bird feeder. No, it's not open. There's the duck family at the duck pond. There's some turtles over there sunning themselves. Gardener took 320 hours to put together. He even has buttons on his shirt. Praying mantis. Okay, this is 42,000 bricks. Look at what we're We have a sundial, a little bird. Gift shop. They have all the new hats. This one's nice. Some socks. Oh. Umbrella in a bottle. Did you see the hummingbird? Yes. Where was that? I missed it. I couldn't even explain where it was. The hummingbird. Well, hey guys, catching up with you much later, a few hours since we last left off. It's already dark out. It's seven o'clock. Man, time flies. Let me tell you. Nice day at the Botanic Gardens. Uh, they had, today was the last day of, they had this Lego display. I loved playing with Legos as a child. I see these light, I see these Lego kits now 
for, they're kind of almost geared towards adults, or I guess like older kids, more complicated. And I feel like if I had more time, I would get into putting them together. Cause I always enjoy doing like jigsaw puzzles. I, I like doing puzzles and Legos are sort of in that family of, of things. And it's so interesting to see what, what they come up with. Uh, it just came out of Midtown area and this Kora Sushi. I, back in the day, I remember going to one of these revolving sushi places. They're kind of fun, like the sushi goes around on a conveyor belt. They have one in the mall. I don't know if it's this Kora brand, Kora company, but um, they're kind of fun to do. Let me know in the comments if you have a revolving sushi in your area. It's a fun thing to do with like out of town guests, go to revolving sushi, either that or dim sum. I haven't been to a dim sum in a long time. They have a um, vegan dim sum here in Houston that I've been wanting to hit up. I think it's uh, Chef Kenny's is the name of the place that does it. I've heard really good things. Let me know if you are local, if you've ever been there. I've heard really good things about Chef Kenny's just in general. It's definitely on my list. Oh, there's an antique store over there I need to check out sometime. I love going in antique stores. Do you guys like going in antique shops, just looking at junk? <laughs> I mean, sometimes there's really cool stuff in there, but other times it's like fun to look at, but I don't know that I need, I don't know that I need some old, old measuring spoons. Oh, well, hey guys, I'm back and I just have a blanket because <clears throat> I'm wearing shorts. It's kind of drafty in here. Let me get you guys where you can see because exciting news. It's that time of the year. My Fit Fun Box came. This is not sponsored. I buy this myself. It's the FabFit Fun Box. It comes seasonally and I love it. Like I use the vast majority of things I get in this box. That being said, the key to getting good stuff in your box is you have to customize it because if you don't customize it, then they'll just put like the dregs of stuff that you would never really want in there. If you're somebody who likes everything to match, the idea of having some random plate is not of interest to you, then I don't think that you would like this. What is this? Spa headband by Zoela. I love these. I frequently use these kinds of things when I do my skincare. Let's open it up though and take it out of the box so you guys can see. Ooh, nice. I love these kind that go on with Velcro. I have one from Kitsch that I really like. It's a nice material. Now this I'm really excited about. I've heard so many good things about Pat McGrath. Comment below on if you've ever used any Pat McGrath lip makeup, but I ordered this lipstick and I kind of don't want to take it out of the packaging because look how cool that is. It's like the packaging that an envelope has. I love that. It's just a little extra detail. Oh, wow. Look how pretty the packaging is. Ooh, I love that color. Okay, I'm excited for this. Ooh, it has a nice weight to it too. I just love this box. And, oh, definitely have been in the market for some new sunnies. So when I saw that sunglasses were an option, I had to go with them. And of course the green bag matches my green sweatshirt. Yeah, last year, speaking of green, last year, I think it was, I got a pair of green sunglasses that I wore a lot. Ooh, liking those. They're nice. I like black frames, black shades, because they're just classic. So happy to have those because, man, the sun here is potent. Like at the Botanic Garden today, I had sunglasses. But when I was talking to you guys, I took them off because I was like negotiating between my glasses. See, that's the thing. I need a pair of sunglasses that are prescription because if I'm not wearing contacts, then it becomes difficult to navigate glasses versus my sunglasses because I'm nearsighted. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, all that to say, it was super bright at the Botanic Garden. All right, and I have to say, the jewelry that I get in FabFitFun, I wear all the time. Like last time I got these gold hoops that I have been wearing a ton. Um, 
This is so pretty. I love blue like sapphires and things. These are obviously faux, but can you see that? So pretty. All right, this is a little silly. I was kind of on the fence about this. Like, am I actually gonna use that? But I'm willing to give it a try at some point. Maybe not in any time in the near future. These glam net, Glamnetic Reusable Press-On Nails. <laughs> I wanted to try these. Now, as a word of warning, the adhesives in these things you can become allergic to, specifically in this one, ethyl cyanoacrylate. For sure, you can become allergic to that. Um, it's a common allergen, like in nail technicians, especially because they're constantly, you know, they're exposed to it a lot. But if you wear um, false nails, you'll you get exposed to it. They're really pretty, and it says they're reusable. Now I don't know about reusing them like a ton because that seems kind of because you, you touch things and stuff and I imagine that they're gonna get dirty. Katie Kime, I think is how you pronounce it. More melamine plates, but I liked these because they're like plate bowls, which I love. Because I don't like eating certain things off of plates because I feel like you chase it around too much and it's easy to fall off the plate. I, I don't know, that annoys me. Like I like bowls because it kind of help you to push it up onto the spoon. <laughs> I know. Um, you get what I'm saying. Or like sometimes I cook things and they're not really like a full on soup, but they have a liquid sauce to them. And uh, something like this is nice so that the sauce is, you know, makes its way back to the entree. <laughs> and I just love these, mel the, the color of these too. So that was everything that I got in the box this month. The thing about tretinoin cream for a lot of people, if you're if you're using the cream, is that a lot of people find that it's fine to just use it with nothing else, like no moisturizer, because the cream is pretty moisturizing. Um, some people even find it like a little too oily, but it really is, I actually kind of like the vehicle of the cream the best. Men in particular, you see men, their skin it can tolerate tretinoin more easily. It's thicker. They have more larger oil glands and things. So they tend to not get, at, I mean, certainly men can get super irritated by using tretinoin, don't get me wrong. But if you took like 100 men in a room and 100 women in a room and you started everyone on tretinoin at the same time, you would have a significantly larger percentage of the male group that was like, I don't have any peeling, I don't have any irritation in comparison to the women, female. Um, but yeah, a lot of people just find that this is fine. Like they wash their face at night and slap this on and they're done, you know? So, um, if that's you, then, then let your unicorn horn shine bright like a diamond because it keeps it simple. Let me know in the comments if you've tried Altrino, the lotion, um, tretinoin, how you like that. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which um, is helpful for improving the moisture content in the skin, as you guys know. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you all are having a great weekend. Anyways, guys, like I said, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you all enjoyed it and that you're having a great weekend. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.